The central dogma of biology states that DNA makes RNA makes protein. So normally DNA is transcribed into mRNA, but this process can also be reversed. To do this we can utilize the 3' poly A tail, which all mRNA have in common. Since this tail only contains adenosine nucleotides, we can use it as a location for our primer. We can use an oligo DT primer, which contains a sequence of 12 to 20 thymine nucleotides, meaning that it is complementary to the 3' poly A tail on the mRNAs. Now, reverse transcriptase can attach itself to the primed region and synthesize the complementary DNA strand in the 3' prime 5' prime direction. After the reverse transcriptase is finished, we are now left with, with half of a mRNA molecule and half of a cDNA molecule. RNA nicking using RNAs H solves this by creating holes in the RNA strand, which in turn provides three prime OH priming sites. Now DNA polymerase 1 can fix these holes through normal DNA synthesis in the 5 prime 3 prime direction. In addition, DNA polymerase 1 also has exonuclease activity, meaning that it has the ability to remove and replace the remaining mRNA in the molecule. Finally, DNA ligase can glue the molecule together by catalyzing the formation of phosphodiester bonds in the DNA. In this way, the mRNA is entirely replaced by complementary DNA. But Lucas, this seems like a bunch of extra steps just to create DNA. I hear you screaming at your screen. Well, I was thinking the same thing, and the reason why this is still very useful is that this complementary DNA and normal DNA is not quite the same. Remember, this cDNA has been created only from mRNAs, which in turn have been created from DNA that was about to be expressed. In other words, this cDNA does not contain any introns, i.e. all the DNA that does not get expressed. So how is cDNA utilized? Well, it turns out that it's mainly used for two things. First, in transcriptomics, where cDNA can be analyzed using PCR to quantitatively determine the gene expression of an organism. And second, in gene cloning, where the cDNA can be inserted into a plasmid, which in turn can be inserted into an organism that then expresses the selected gene. If you found this video helpful, please give it a quick like as it really helps it spread to more people, so you can help me help other people. Thank you very much. Until next time.